Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Yes, that's the name of the game. And today we're going to be fixing some big, big problems. Right, the problem being, I did not even notice this. This is not university, it's a school. I totally made a mistake here and of course we already have a school over here we're gonna need university so what I'm gonna have to do is remove this building and rebuild it but that's fine uh, we will find appropriate university maybe even one with a higher um, with a higher uh, um, viewpoint maybe that's gonna be a little bit nicer uh, probably in this area okay let's try to see this if we can start uh, with this one Right, so if we go to universities, I have no idea how is this even possible that I made this mistake. Um, we have a couple of nice universities, of course, I think I'm gonna go for a capacity as well. Um, in this case, it's a capital city, I expect us to have around 20,000 people here, uh, and we can learn from these numbers over here. If you go to Murmansk, Murmansk has 8,400 people living there and the university in here with logo of this channel um, has capacity of 75 people. Uh, we are missing a little bit of staff, I mean like it's being replenished but again we can't really expect more than 100-ish um, student capacity with this university and uh, I would like to have at least maybe even three times that if at all possible. If not, that's okay. Not uh, some some children can be left behind. That's fine. Okay, so if we go for some of these, okay, this is a taller university. Definitely would be uh, have a nicer um, nicer viewpoint. But uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see which ones we actually made. So that would uh, we, uh, right 135, 90, 2300. Ooh, Riga Technical University. That's nice. Um, I won't build that one. Oh, it's it's too large for this area. We would have to do too much uh, reshuffling. I will I will pause this just because. What is this? Gazprom. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, let's see. Eight hundred people. Wow. Eight hundred. Uh, Transgas. Oh right, is that Mr. Vicom? I think that this might be Mr. Vicom's uh, building. It's uh, Transgas. It's a uh, building in Czech Republic for Ministry of Gas or something like that. We have this beautiful uh, war college, I think this is from Slovakia, University of Defense, uh, which I don't mind putting here. Uh, I think size-wise it would fit perfectly, but uh, uh, some of the stuff that we are constructing wouldn't be in place. But um, let's see, let's move on. Oh, oh, right. This is not bad, but it's too big. Darn it. Uh, this is not gonna fit anywhere. Uh, right, <clears throat> House of Soviets. Uh, this is something interesting. How many people can fit in here? 900. Okay, this seems a little bit uh, uh, too much. Uh, right, Technical University. We said that this is decent. 180. University Institute. Okay, this is a little bit too small. House this letters as a university. This is a building in Berlin, I believe. Medical University, 135, that's a little bit on the low side. I would like to go at least close to 200. So, I don't think we have a lot of options here. <clears throat> uh, well, this one is, capacity is fine, but looks like it's a little bit on a small side to, to house 300 students. So, And this is the one that we have from the wall. Whoa, 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 okay, something is, r what's wrong with this one? So this is the one I have in Murmansk, and it says that it has capacity of 100, uh, 260 students. Why is there so little people going to the university here? Why are they not servicing more people? Huh, interesting. That's, there's something wrong with this one here. Uh, is it different? No, I think it's the same one. Uh, let me just com uh, confirm this, maybe... Yeah, this is the same building, and this one should have 280 student capacity when fully staffed. But, if we go here, there's only 80 out of 80 uh, students in the auditorium, and uh, we have... <clears throat> this looks like an 80%, 80, 70-80% 80 
uh, staffed, so this definitely doesn't look like it can take 200 or 300 uh, students. Weird, I have no idea. I'll talk to Mr. Chris uh, uh, in Discord channel, which you should join, it's free, come on and hang out if you want. Anyway, uh, we need to decide what building we're gonna put here, because the other one, I was a dumbass and I didn't put a proper building in place, so we're gonna have to uh, rebuild the... Whoa. Whoa, I love this one. But 400... And th th this looks like it fits. I, I like it. But unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to squeeze it in here. That's what she said. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe we will. Wow, look at this. Maybe we will... Uh, let me let me play with this a little bit. Uh, let's demolish all these roads. Go away. Go away. Uh, you go away. This one is being built. I, I will play with the, I will play with this university. Uh, this definitely looks like it's uh, uh, it fits here because it's absolutely ginormous. And uh, maybe in this direction. Does it matter? Uh, I think this one might look better. Wow. Okay. This this definitely looks like it fits here. This is building worth of the. Uh, capital city Okay, I'm going with this one for now. L l let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this? This is absolutely enormous I love it and it fits here. This is more important because uh, it, it would really bad if it didn't Okay, 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 so we have a couple of uh, Connections here you can see that this is uh, Not being uh, constructed properly uh, What about this? We can we can do this. I think we can do this do we have more space now? I mean, like, there's a car entrance here, but I don't think we're going to be building ro road on this side. Uh, these are pass-through roads. So, I could have integrated this in a city, uh, in our infrastructure, but, uh, for example, these wouldn't, um, these wouldn't house the the trolley buses i believe you cannot upgrade these anyway anyway look uh, let's start on this one this is going to be main entrance let them build this uh, entrance to the build actually you know what does it have to have roads i mean i don't know how it's going to look with roads or without but look let, let's start building it and let's see how it's going to work uh can we build this without the road connection uh yeah we can Okay, uh, let's start on this university here. Um, we'll see how what we're gonna do with the roads. If we have to reshuffle some buildings around, that's fine. We'll do our best. Um, maybe we can even, you know, build proper infrastructure with roads and stuff. Uh, you know, I can move the uh, the gymnasium a little bit further down or something like that. Anyway, 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 let's see who can build this. Who can? Ken Lee. Uh, let's go with this one here. This one is, is going to require enormous amount of uh, well, people and everything else that we're going to need for this building. But let them eat cake. Uh, right, so we have a couple of things. Capital footpath, that's fine. I'll assign this one. Uh, a couple of things, suggestions, what we should do. Uh, let's unpause this. Let's have let's have an episode during the uh, daytime rather than like this. Uh, right, let's see, footpath, we had a couple of suggestions that in footpaths we should have road cranes, so let's get, uh, actually we do, oh, there we go, see, I'm smart, not really, but anyway, um, right, we, uh, I will buy, I will double up on, on these, I will, actually I'm gonna triple up on these, so covered hulls, RNM, uh, and let's see, uh, buy vehicles, uh, Romanians, that would be crane, road crane, RNM, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, where, where is you? Here we go. One and two. And then we have LZ covered hull. Covered hull, LZ. 100. One and two. Okay, there we go. So we have a little bit more uh, vehicles around here. So they would help with installation of electrical components and stuff. Oh. Okay, uh, right, we talked about something in the comment section as well concerning highways. Let's pause this and see what we can do. Um, we talked about highways and uh, how to promote usage of highways. Now, um, I'm fully aware that you can put, uh, you know, you can make your vehicles if you have a route the, to use a specific route, which is absolutely perfect. Um, on the other hand, most of the vehicles on the roads, probably yours as well, are not the uh are not the 
are not the vehicles that take paths. There, uh, that, that you can assign path. There are distribution office, construction office, and these kind of vehicles. So supply vehicles, the delivering food, uh, delivering food to the local shops. They're not going to be using highways, so it's going to be only uh, you know intercity travel. And usually those are done with somewhat of an autom automation. Uh, waypoints, waypoints. I think that everybody will agree that we need crap a lot of these. Unfortunately, they don't like to be placed over here. That's going to be, well, sad. Um, yeah, this is one of the downsides of this uh, uh, overpasses. They're not fully, I don't want to say integrated in the game, but you, obviously we can't do everything with them that we want. So if we place a couple of these waypoints, unfortunately they're placed, even though it's a one-way road, uh, Center Mista. <laughs> uh, town center. Uh, Promislova Zona. What, what is that? I, I don't understand that part. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so this is this is what we have here. We can build uh, multiple of these, uh, you know, informing people where they're going uh, and later on use them as the waypoints. But unfortunately, it looks like we won't be able to. Oh, here we go. I'm going to do for a couple of these over here. Uh, this is just informing them where they can go. Uh, can we put one here? No. But we can put one over here because they are entering the loop. Okay, <clears throat> this is more or less it. Uh, I think I think this is going to be... Um, it's okay. It's in initially... For initial uh, uh, infrastructure, it's okay. Mr. Joshua, uh, I wanted to say something to Mr. Joshua. Look... Uh, uh, all jokes aside, come on. Uh, if you follow the episodes, you know that we did build re um, redundancy for Murmansk. There was probably one building that wasn't covered by redundancy. So what we did, we upgraded Murmansk to underground cables by doing exactly what anybody should do when they are uh, upgrading the infrastructure. First, create redundancy. So double up on your electricity supply, which we did. As you can see here with underground cables that we built from this uh, substation, this transformer station here, uh, we built a redundancy. We built two uh, we built two uh, substations and then we connected them to electricity when the electricity is supplied there. Then, after electricity is supplied there, then we destroyed overhead cables and replaced them with underground cables. I believe almost everything was covered by electricity. I think there was one building that wasn't, but that was resolved, hopefully. Well, actually, maybe it's not even still resolved. Let's check it. So, there was one building. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no. No, these are the substations. Uh, there we go. This one, this one building didn't have and doesn't have power supply. Everything else, look, it's still not done. We are still upgrading this. There's still electricity hoses underground being, um, being finished. Uh, but, uh, everything has electricity. Look, green. The white ones over here, those are the substations that we are building to. And the white building over here is the only building that didn't have electricity. That's the only building. Everything else, well, right. Everything else more or less is covered. Right. You know, more or less. Uh, right. Uh, let me see if this is going to be covered when it's done. No. Uh, some of the buildings that we constructed uh, recently are outside of uh, electricity range. Uh, these ones are not, but uh, they will be. Uh, they will be connected to the grid uh, when they are finished. What's this? I think we should build more redundancy. I will go for two more substations now, just to improve Murmansk a little bit. So let's go for substation, power substation, and uh, I think right over here it's gonna be, it's gonna be peachy. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, something like this. Let them build this. Let them eat cake. And then I will go and create the underground hoses. F3 and connect it to the existing infrastructure over here. Can you? No, not really. Uh, two, in two parts. Well, obviously. Three parts. Uh, can this be constructed? Uh, yes. 
Yes, I can assign it to groundwork and construction more months because I can go and finish this one all the way. And we have the, the last one, the third one. Uh, the third one is, go sorry, the, the, the substation that I should have. You know what? I'm going to build it in the opposite direction. I'm going to build it. Um, I will build it from here. If we go to substations, I will go away, go away, go away, go. There we go. Uh, maybe right here. This doesn't look like it's in anybody's way. Um, and it should be covering a lot of stuff that we have. This little mountain footpath, uh, like hiking area, whatever. And uh, that's going to be nice. Okay. So let's go for the underground hoses. Here we go. F3. Do we have connections here? We do. Okay. So just to create some kind of a little bit diversity, redundancy, all that good stuff. I will just... Uh, okay. We can do through here and then this way. There we go. Connected. Uh, can this be constructed? Yes, I can. Yes, we can. And uh, let's assign it to these ones. Okay, uh, that's about it. Uh, there are a couple of other things that I didn't, uh, uh, that Mr. Stats reminded me of. And that would be why I actually built this one. This was for distribution of the electrical components. Yes, I totally forgot about that. I have a big mug of coffee here. It's actually more, more, more or less like a bucket one. So I'm going to have a break. There we go. Oh, that's nice. It's not too hot, actually. Um, that's fine. Okay, so... Oh, well, pour yourself some coffee. I mean, these episodes last for an hour. I mean, snack, coffee, that kind of stuff. So, distribution of electrical components. How are we doing with electrical components in general? We are doing so-so. Um, they're missing plastics. Uh, do we have... Uh, I, we have plastics assigned, but I think we're just consuming a lot of plastics. Uh, I will come back to this in a second. Uh, the reason being that we're building ships. And when we're building ships, we have lack of resources. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. Yes, build more plastics factory. But if you have specialized cities uh, that we are trying to build plastic city, um, we will... Uh, uh, have to have a city for that and we still don't have a city for plastics so we are just cheating by uh, creating plastics over here but 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 uh, there's a lot of plastics here why isn't this uh, supplied i will uh, investigate this let's see statsovo is missing uh, plastics for these electrical components for these uh, what are you doing okay this one is loading on electrical components what are wait 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 did I use these ones to deliver electrical components? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see here that I'm using these ones to deliver ele uh, um, electrical components. And I'm going to stop doing that because we don't need them doing this. We have a brand new distribution office that's going to be in charge of this. So thank you, Mr. Stas. This was really nice of you uh, to remind us uh, of this. So, Daniel Industrial Road Cargo Station, uh, you don't, uh, all of these, Copti Road Cargo Station, we don't need this anymore. So, I'm going to go for trucks, uh, so we, we, let's set it up first. So, we need loading. Let's go for the storage area first, and then we're going to go for unloading. Lo unloading is the uh, everything else. So, we have the uh, Galask, we have the well tier we have murmansk over here and then we have koptigrad over there uh, that would be this one over here i believe yes indeed and then we're gonna have the last one so first one is just loading the rest of them is unloading so this capital city we are missing the we are still missing this one over here but actually you know what i think everything is done we can start supplying it the problem is i didn't set the storage capacity so uh, actually did i oh it's here my bad I'll limit the amounts i think i think i think this is gonna be fine i'm gonna leave it like this limit the amounts to this uh, later on, I'm gonna uh, play around with this. So we have the last one here. That's wrong. They need to go here. Okay, so this is this is more or less it. Uh, we just need to set them up, but I'm gonna get the vehicles first. So we have uh, so we have uh, resources assigned to that. So we're gonna go for covered hull. Uh, let's see what is age appropriate. We're gonna go with capacity. We have these Minsk ones, but they seem to be a little bit on a big side. Actually, I'm still, I'm still, jury is still out on these ones. What do you guys think about these? 
15 tons of mechanical component compared to it has double the capacity a little bit less than double the capacity of the old ones we have kmz's uh, interesting i don't know i don't know let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about these mazes maz uh, uh, trucks uh, i will go for something else at the moment let's see what's age appropriate uh, these wise oh this is decent 3 3.8 uh, you know what i think we need to go for big vehicles i think i'm gonna have to go for kmz's in this case let's go for uh eight kmz's and then you can see that uh, we have resources here so we need to un we need to assign them differently so we need to do this so do this and vehicles are on their merry way there we go and uh i should probably be clicking on these just in case in the future i know what we're dealing with here okay so we have this one this one there we go okay i think this should be it uh, the problem is still the plastics that we're gonna go and try to resolve right now so let's see what's happening here do you have vehicles assigned to this one we have several so these are electronics kmz's i'm gonna avo avoid these kmz's because uh they're all delivering electronics you can see here yeah they are all um these are the old ones these are from the other distribution office that we actually unassigned just a few moments ago so this is nothing here has anything to do with plastics uh, here we go we have plastics delivered but unfortunately uh, this is not enough we are using a lot of plastics so let's see what do we have here chemicals chemicals plastics and more plastics so we have two plastic deliveries lz100 and je300 uh that seems like a lot that seems like a lot uh okay this one is where are you why are you there probably refueling or something didn't you have a fuel there somewhere anyway uh we're missing plastics uh, mr uh no misters no misters no misters anymore i don't wanna i don't wanna miss uh misdo anybody <laughs> anyway continuing on uh we have a couple of things i just wanted to cover real quickly so let's see um right um this is one of the this is why i like to uh, read the comment section mr c thomas said something interesting that i didn't know the fact that left versus right hand driving is an interesting topic um it um anyway the if you take mirror population of the nation 65 percent of the people drive on the right hand side that means 35 percent are doing on the left hand side that's population of the countries that have a law that you should drive on the left hand side versus right hand side however the nations that drive on the left hand side um, tend to have low car ownership the most population left hand side driving nations are india bangladesh pakistan malaysia indonesia and have about 30 percent of the world's population but have a low car ownership this is true and it's also true i think for japan at least well, i don't know about the car ownership but car usage in japan uh, let's say tokyo i think uh, for commuting to work and stuff i think it's like less than 20 percent or something people take uh, cars for commuting it's like 60 70 percent they take their fast trains and public transport system so <clears throat> japan doesn't have high car usage ownership probably is bigger than bangladesh india and those countries but um but the owner uh, but usage is is low as well so yeah that's an interesting topic and on the, on the other hand this is what i was told i'm not really 100 percent sure if this is so but uh, countries that um uh, why do why do some countries drive on the left hand side it's a histor oh there we go i don't know i don't know i think at least it's not showing me oh they're using it haha <laughs> right anyway uh they're using highways uh, what i wanted to say is uh oh they're building this one as well oh perfect anyway what i wanted to say left hand side why do some countries drive on left hand side i think it was uh, british empire that uh, you know they have tendency to drive walk or whatever on the left hand side and i was told that there's a historical reason for this so the the knights in the middle ages uh most of the knights were right-handed and most of the people are right-handed people and when you're uh riding a horse on the left hand side when you pull your sword with your right hand you your sword is pointed towards the enemy or whatever you want to point it to so 
This might not be true, <laughs> I was told this, but uh, it doesn't have to be true. If there's any other reason why they do this, please hit the comment section, but it's interesting fact. I love these little uh, little things. Anyway, we ended last, last episode, uh, let's cover uh, actually co a couple of um, couple of other uh, topics. Yeah, Mr. Stotz is interested, why are we calling this Soviet Skylines? I have mentioned this in a comment section and I think it's extremely cute and I love the Soviet Skylines, I didn't know, I don't know know that there's a game other game called soviet skylines and that there's a mod version or whatever of the city skylines and they're like in, in built in soviet style i don't know that i don't use a lot of mods i play skylines sometimes but i don't use a lot of mods um Right, so I think it's cute, the, no disrespect, but uh, if we're gonna continue being honest, I think Workers and Resources is a stupid name for a game. Just a personal opinion, but it's like, you know, farming game called Cattle and Crops, even though I love that game, uh, uh, I used to play it and I wish I had more time to play it even more. It's much better than Farming Simulator game, but the game, the name is stupid. I think they changed that to Professional Farmer or something like that, doesn't matter, but I think Cattle and Crops workers and resources is a stupid name for a game just a personal opinion <laughs> so i think uh, uh, you using something cute like soviet skylines is definitely a positive and showing respect for the game rather than uh, vice versa but anyway uh, that's just my opinion uh, again right continuing on we have um uh, a couple of things that I wanted to cover, and that would be distribution office uh, uh, between Statso and Veltier was for electrical components. We did that. Um, uh, suggestions about footpaths using the cranes. Yes, we had one footpath office uh, using cranes, and uh, I bought more cranes now for that uh, footpath office. Uh, Mr. Stats' uh, city, he has a lot of... Uh, oh, right, uh, I'm gonna address this industry. So Mr. Wealthier would like us to clean his city uh, of pollution. And this is the only reason why we are considering moving the industry. Now, uh, we'll see how this is going to go in the future, but uh, Mr. Stats thinks that we should keep uh, wealthier specialized for uh, petrochemicals, and it makes a lot of a lot of sense. If you're going to build the city for every product that we're going to make, uh, leaving this city as a petrochemical um, mecca, let's go with that, uh, makes perfect, perfect sense. So I am, I am still considering what we're going to do in this case, but you can see that we are recovering uh, fuel and oil-wise. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, you can see that we have tanks of bitumen full, uh, so I might even give uh, Ever Given and Joshua P.T. Uh, green light to go and start exporting this, but I'm gonna have to take these trains, <laughs> these invisible trains that don't exist anymore, and stop uh, importing oil uh, from the border crossings. We are importing oil uh, from the border crossings because we had a lot of issues with... Um, uh, with, uh, well, stupidity that uh, is me. Uh, to a small degree, again, and I'm not gonna repeat that uh, some game mechanics make little sense or seem to be changing all the time. Uh, I'm, but I'm not gonna go into that. So, um, I'll, I think mostly me is to blame because of the situation, but also I think there's uh, powers uh, bigger than us that are influencing how game mechanics work. Uh, right, so what I wanted to do is supply um, all our oil, uh, all our oil uh, from our own production from now on. So I'm just going to real quickly uh, redirect a couple of these trains. You can see that this one is going to a customs house. Where is you? Uh, he's actually on the way to the custom house. This is perfect because I will now tell him to go here rather than the customs house. And then remove the customs house and load here bitumen and fuel. There we go. And uh, that's the first one done. So we stopped importing oil through here, through the, through, well, at least on, on this one here. We have several more to do. For example, this one, you can see that this one is also going to the customs house, which we're going to go and tell them to do, to go and load over here. Uh, you're going to load uh, bitumen and fuel and remove the customs house. Uh, delete the stop. Yeah, he's loading here. I think I think I'm doing this right. Okay, if you see anything odd here, just you know, hit the comment section. Um, and uh, do we uh, do we have a train coming here or not? We still don't have. We're still delivering these uh, from from the border crossing. So I'm gonna stop doing this as well. 
I will uh, actually just tell them to, let's see here, Murmansk oil. Uh, there we go, customs house, we're gonna remove this one as well. And I will set up a new train because this is more or less done. I will set up a new train that's gonna be delivering uh, fuel or, well, we're gonna need oil as well, I think. No, I think we, we are connected with oil. I believe we are. I will have to tell them to wait until loaded because oil is being processed really fast. Um, we do have, uh, well, did, did I have a train coming here? Uh, I don't think we do. We don't have any vehicle coming here. That's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is set up this fuel supply as well. Fuel and bitumen. Uh, right, 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 right. So this is what we need. Let's see. Uh, electric locomotives. Uh, what fits this age? Yeah, you can see that again. Uh, if you go through the... Well, let's go with the uh, value. The most expensive ones. Let's see when they were made. These are not even made anymore. Uh, we need small train. We're not gonna go for a big one. Uh, we're gonna go for small train. I would like them to be as fast as possible, but um, doesn't have to be. So smaller, small. Uh, here we go. Uh, but no, that one is not being produced anymore. East Germany, uh, 89 Poland. Uh, here we go. 120. You know what? Why? Why the hell not? 120 and or 160 is the same. I think 150 is. 150 is the limit for the uh, railroad tracks, even though the train says 160. So cargo wagons, we're gonna go waggle, 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 wagon, wagon, wagon. Uh, what kind of color scheme we have here? Yeah, let's go with vanilla. Oh, no, 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 they're out of uh, production. We have these ones. Okay, let's do this. Uh, fuel, one, two. Uh, one, two. One, two. There we go. So we're gonna have six uh, carts here. So I'm gonna just set him up. Uh, you're gonna go over here. Uh, load. You're gonna load everything. Well, this, this, and this, and wait until loaded. Uh, this one is the only one who's gonna wait until loaded. The, pro the reason behind this is because we need oil. We need uh, crude oil uh, for this one. Um, why is that? Because we're gonna have chemicals being produced over here in the city and we're gonna need this, but what, why he has to wait to be loaded? Because we don't have stable supply of oil. Or, what I actually mean is that we process all the oil that we get. Again, uh, I can play around with the tanks and then, um, set this up properly. I probably could do, do that. I mean, like, it's not simple. I mean, Kind of is, you have to sit down and think what needs to be done where, and then have uh, your storage area connected with pumping stations and without pumping stations, So, and then set them up in a proper way that uh, you have overflow going elsewhere for exports and this kind of stuff, but that would require me to redo this whole area, which is not something that I want to get involved now. But I think I should fix this, just because I should get a proper picture how this should look in the future when I'm setting this up, so we have something like, you you know this something like this uh, meat production you know practically modular you can just copy paste it as many times as you want so yeah just to have an, a good idea how fuel oil processing would work okay so this is it uh, we uh, set this one up uh, you can go but did we miss something all oh, right uh, the advanced setup so which tr let's go uh, this uh, so the middle ones, uh, this and this, you're gonna go this one, and then this one, this one, there we go. First one is uh, white, and then we have blue. Blue is gonna be fuel. There we go. Blue is gonna be fuel. And these first two are gonna be bitumen. I don't know, it's just opposite colors, I think it makes a little bit, it makes a little sense. Okay, um, that's about it. We have 136 tons of bitumen fuel and oil. So I'm gonna let him go. Uh, we do have, this is the only train that is uh, waiting to be loaded over here because he needs this oil. I'm not gonna explain again. We do have two uh, bays, so he shouldn't be blocking anybody because others can just use it, you know, as they wish. Anyway, uh, that being said, we have this part of the highway done as well. And look at these guys here buses they are delivering workers to where wow look at this there we go finally it works a little bit uh, we'll see how many trucks are actually using these because I can see that these guys are using what are you doing Nizhny well tier bus station to Murmansk where are you taking people again where is this 
Wow, okay. So these are the workers going from Murmansk over here. But it's interesting also that they don't take highway for this. I mean, like, um, is this highway segmented? Like, okay, so uh, who was it? Uh, was it Mr. Stats that said how it's calculated which route truck or, or a bus will take? That it's how many nodes there are or these intersections on the road. Not the length of the road, but how many nodes are there. What we're gonna have to do now, because this is this is uh, now in production, I will have to set the the directions of the of this. F3. Uh, can we do it in a tunnel as well? Indeed, we can. Or maybe not. I have no idea. It doesn't look like it is. Okay, that's um, that's uh, again strange, but fine. Uh, Okay, it works. It works elsewhere. So if they have to use this in a tunnel, that's fine. Um, if they're not gonna have... Go away, go away, go away. There we go. Um, F3. Uh, let's go again. Uh, right hand side, left hand side. Interesting facts being shared everywhere. All over the place. Uh, so let's go this one. Opposite. Um... I don't have to do this paused, but I would like to put some other construction offices uh, in production as well. Uh, there we go. Opposite. Hopefully that uh, that's not. Hopefully I'm not gonna cause any problems because you can do this easily. Now this is this is gonna be a problem. Well, cleaning this is gonna uh, snow snow plows are gonna be a problem here. Um, uh, because I don't know if they're gonna even enter because they can't come back. They have to go all the way back. I mean, in the ideal world, the snowplow would get in, clean all the highway, and then come back and clean the other side. That would be in the ideal world. But this is not ideal world. This is not how this game works. And uh, potentially, a uh, snowplow, when it comes over here, it won't be able to go anywhere else. And also, uh, it, it will probably he's not gonna even come here. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, the second problem with this is the um, the the same snow plows they cannot clean fuel stations if you do this so if you put a fuel station like this uh, it doesn't allow me to go all the way if you put your fuel station like this it's not going to be cleaned uh, by snow plows why because uh, snow plows don't clean through the um, petrol station gas station they only clean the road and then wants to go back and they can't go back because this is one way road so this road has to be dual directional it's just for snowplow to clean it uh, if it's gonna even come here which i have my doubts but we'll see anyway let's finish the whole road whole length of the road uh, this road again can be closed in the future if we want to upgrade it with uh, lights but i have um I, I'm not sold on the idea of these uh, tro tro trolley lines that uh, to put trolley lines just to have a lit road uh, so we have lights on the road I don't I don't know how it looks like we're gonna go and inspect it and I wish you guys also tell me what do you think about this uh, right uh, I think this is done there we go this is done i'm gonna leave well actually you know what this can go in this direction this can go in this direction just so we have we tell them where to go and this has to be dual directional so there we go we should have the whole length of the highway now uh in production uh are they using it uh they are using it perfect coffee time right so uh, expansion of Nissesburg. We had a couple of um, few buildings being built there, just a few. Uh, I think I want to put this in production, uh, well, under construction as soon as possible. So let's have this capital two assigned to, let's say, oh, right, I, had, I said I'm going to clean these as well. Let's go one, oh, uh, right, we don't have a road connection yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have in seconds anyway, so that's fine i'm gonna go and connect the closest one. Ooh, there's a lot of things that need to be connected here okay let's go like this um these are gonna need to be uh footpaths i will connect with mud pads as well but i will uh connect a lot of footpaths 
I'll use the middle one. The middle one is always, well, I think nobody uses the middle entrance to the building because, you know, in reality, obviously, there will be separate parts of the building. But in this game, they use only one, uh, they use only one entrance for the whole building. This is how game mechanics work in this game. So what I'm going to do now is connect this middle part to all of these so we have access to the buildings. And since uh, guys need this one, uh, this is closer to all the amenities that they need. Uh, I'm going to use the further one here to connect it with mud roads just so we have access on all sides. The sports facility is connected already, so I need to just set this for production. So our footpaths can be constructed and I'm going to go and set up the... Uh, set up these. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, four buildings here. I'm going to have three buildings assigned to the other one. So we're going to have a few buildings assigned to this one. Um, I need to learn a couple of things as well. So testing, testing, testing. Uh, I'm going to be testing some stuff. Uh, like I have no idea wh what mistakes I made with these construction offices. You can see that they're not busy. They're practically empty. But yet they are assigned to crap a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, let's see what stuff. What did I do here and what can I do to speed this up? So we're going to go for capital 2. Uh, and I'm going to check some of the constructions here. So let's see. Babushkino here. This is a residential building which requires people to be finished. Okay, so these are both of them here. That's fine. We have a small transformer station here. Uh, right, this is the oil field. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. We didn't finish the oil field. That's fine. Let's go and finish the oil field. That needs a footpath office or buses. I can see buses are not busy. Footpath is going to be constructing the crap load of stuff now. So I will assign buses to these. We have one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure that all the materials are delivered here. Uh, we can do this. There we go. And this is the last one. So they can just finish. The, it's not the last one. This is the last one. So they can just finish this. Uh, electricity hoses, they seem to be connected. That's fine. And I even was a little bit on the smart side and uh, created additional extension of our power power cables. So, I'll, but just a little bit. But I think uh, somebody is going to be angry at us for using the the highest quality um, electricity for these uh, for this oil field because we could have used I think we could have used smaller quality lesser quality but anyway let's finish this uh, so this would be a lot of these uh, these stuff on the construction list here so you see these uh, pipelines uh, there they are those pipelines that we just assigned pump jacks uh, pumping stations uh, unfinished pipeline Piping stuff. Okay, there's a whole crap lot of this. Okay, you know what? Uh, oh, where is this? Uh, we just assigned the bus, so that's the same one. And then we have bricks. Uh, but this is being constructed. You can see that a lot of vehicles are delivering. This is something newer. So I think uh, most of the construction will be removed from their list right now because of this. And buses should resolve this. Okay, um... So I think we have everything set up for these guys. They're going to be busy building this. Uh, what's happening in our nuclear city? I'm going to pause again uh, to see if we can finish some stuff. You can see that the railroads here are still not done. So I'm going to assign them manually. Uh, manually. Let's see. Uh, these guys. I think these guys can, uh, can uh, start constructing. They have everything assigned. So we can assign construction here. Uh, let's go for this one here and let them see in which direction they're gonna go and the second one i think yeah let, let's assign the second one but i still have my doubts i think it could be some issues with the uh, semaphores here because uh, both both of them are going to the same construction uh they are coming out that's perfect and these guys here, this construction office, do you have anything assigned? No. Um, I do. I, I will use these as well to continue extending our railroad to Koptigrad because we need this up and running. So we have a couple of uh, rails only left. So I'm going to go for one <clears throat> and let him choose which way he's going to go. So the, what, whatever way he goes, he's going to finish it all the way here. And then we have only one segment. And that means that this is done. So we don't need to build this anymore. Uh, well, it's going to be done. This is a small. This is a small train station that's going to be delivering people to our, uh, to to uh, to this area, to Koptigrad. 
industrial. This is chemical plants and all that stuff. Okay, uh, we have here some construction, so we're gonna go for this distribution office. That's gonna be chemical distribution. And uh, Koptigrad. Koptigrad, uh, obviously these offices, I'm gonna go back to nuclear soon, but... Um, but let's see if uh, we have everything under construction here. Kindergarten, that's fine. What else do you guys need? Culture, culture, culture. Yeah, uh, should we continue playing with this? Looks like we have... Uh, right, here we go. Uh, Copti... Copti 2. Copti 2 is gonna construct this. So this is the... Um, what is this? This is construction office. They are for roads and stuff. We'll see what we... I think I said that I'm gonna assign it to roads, so... In, eventually it's gonna be assigned to roads. I I would like to do whoa. This is going fast. Okay. This is a little bit faster. I thought it was Okay. Um what we wanted to build here, this is close to a bus station. We wanted to uh here we go. This is out of range, so this is how far we can do anything. And uh, let's see if we still have a problem. So we said that we're gonna go for cinema and theater, Republic Theater. Uh, the huge one, the big one. Right, and it's still causing issues. We said when we placed it here, it actually gave us an option to... Yeah, yeah, I think this is just way, way, way too far from... Uh, Let's see if we can... It's way too far from the construction offices and we need something closer. Um, and this is also the balance. Like, I was always afraid that something is going to be too far away. I was always afraid that some things are going to be um, uh, too far away. And then Mr. Dennis, for example, he taught me, he showed me physically um, uh, that uh, how far your trains can actually travel and bring your people... Uh, to their place of work or whatever, uh, how far you can actually do this. And that was amazing. That was a game changer for me because... Uh, come, on, come on, go away. There we go. Uh, we can finally build this. Uh, it was a game changer for me because I saw that technically if you have uh, dedicated lines for your railroads from capital city, we can deliver people working in almost all the way in the country. If you have a city in the middle um, and you have clear straight lines that are not obstructed with... Um, with uh, other traffic so your trains won't stop uh so your passengers traveling for four hours on a public transport system on the trains going 160 kilometers per hour they can almost uh, go anywhere in, uh, in, in your country so you can build far but on the other hand now you can see that these construction offices over there they cannot level ground over here so they don't have coverage over here i don't intend to build new construction offices somewhere around here because there's not going to be much for them to do uh, but i will build this on maybe for roads or something we'll see if you're going to exploit more areas around here maybe we can have local uh, wood supply for the chemical industry or something like that but um, i don't intend to do a lot uh, of expansion in this area i don't even know if there's any resources here that we can tap into uh, around Koptigrad. We have some iron, but that's very, very little. Uh, there's oil, really? Okay, there's some oil around here, but uh, we're not gonna focus on oil. A little bit of uranium, but we are building a nuclear city and then the no bauxite. So this is where we are in the bottom center of the map. This is where Koptigrad is. So the only resources they can have would be wood, but also one big important one, farming. Uh, because these, there's a lot of fertile land here, or, well, let's call it leveled land. Um, but we're gonna focus on that uh, later. Right. Uh, we'll see how much uh, how much of that is gonna be done. So, well, obviously we can start construction of this Theater of the Republic. This is what I wanted to build here. Uh, Kopti, uh, I hope you agree with this. I don't think I consulted you with this. Uh, and... and uh, I probably should have, so sorry about that. But uh, let me know if this is okay with you to be constructed. I will, if you don't agree with this, I will tear it down, I swear. It doesn't matter. I will set it for production right now uh, to be constructed. I think it's magnificent. It's on the public transport line, so all of these cultureless plebs here that are not... Uh, um, I don't even want to. Oh, shop. Uh, uh, they're going to be fine. Uh, right, 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 whatever. Uh, shut up. Uh, let's go. We have a second shop. That's important uh, just to create some kind of redundancy. Uh, so we need the uh, trucks, trucks, trucks. Here we go. This guy. Uh, Koptigrad. And then after that, go here. And 
unload beat. There we go. Without waiting, without anything. Okay, okay. McKay. Refrigerator. Covered. 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 Really? Three? We need three vehicles for this? Well, probably we do. Um, that's fine. I will do three vehicles here as well. I Well, yeah. I'll do three vehicles as well. Uh, covered hull. Covered hull. Buy a couple of covered hulls. Param, 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 pam, pam. Do we have a preference here? I forgot. Let's go with uh, value. Uh, let's go... Uh, these are 15 tons of food. I think... Like, okay, personally, I think this is uh, not too much. Why do I think so? Because these trucks, I know for a fact, they can carry up to 27 tons, metric tr tons of transport. Uh, but of course, not uh, you can fit 15 or 27 tons of pillows in there, you know. But technically you can, but you know what I mean. It's it's volume also versus mass. And uh, 15 tons of food, I think, you know, things like flour and stuff on pallets, I think we can easily go for 20 30 tons uh, of this with like I don't know some other stuff like alcohol it's in glass bottles or whatever the, the, or aluminum aluminum or aluminum cans cattle on the other hand 10 tons of cattle I don't know if you can fit them in that it doesn't really matter I don't think the capacity of these are is too much but compared to the vanilla game it's enormous so the biggest vanilla game um, vehicles like KMZ over here they can carry only half of that a little bit more than half eight tons of food so I would would like to know what you guys think about this what's your opinion on capacities of trucks i mean obviously this is it doesn't have to be realistic uh, it has to be you know fair because if developers decided that the biggest trucks in the game are gonna have eight tons of capacity food you cannot just create i mean you can create but uh, i don't want to use a vehicle that is on the realistically higher capacity but it's interesting fact you know that uh, they have such a low capacity compared to the real life uh, vehicles okay uh 2001 kmz's uh obviously one two three uh, obviously this one is gonna be the one so what we're gonna do now is have them uh, load food over here and then deliver food uh, to this one here uh, load food unload food and off you go and now copy this schedule for uh, to the rest of the vehicles one and two and then let's have them on their merry way one and two there we go. Uh, they are on their way. Uh, what are we missing here? Here we go. Copti. Uh, I have no idea which one is building more. Let's see. Unfinished pipeline. You're building nothing. Build this one. And this one needs to be needs to have mechanical components. I'll put buses on this. Uh, well, maybe I should press this to deliver mechanical components and finally we're gonna have this fuel loading from here so this fuel that's gonna be delivered here it's gonna be uh, well working a little bit better uh, we have full tanks here of uh, fuel and bitumen uh, but in uh, but I assigned the train now to come here and deliver this I see nothing I see nothing stopping us from uh, putting this part of railroad in like total production or whatever, whatever, you know, uh, uh, put the, the signalization here because I think everything here is as we wanted. Previously, the trucks were, uh, the trains were getting here, but now we can extend it a little bit further. So let's go for chain semaphores over here. And uh, we're going to go for chain semaphores over here, right hand side. Am I doing this right? Right hand side, right hand side. No, I'm not. Like this, and the right hand side. And then we go for the simple tons ones. Normal semaphores, here we go. Okay, McKay. Uh, let's go and build this one, and then we have chain semaphores over here. Okay, this should work. I'm, I'm thinking, sinking, sinking now. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about this. Uh, for now, let, let it be like this because we're gonna have to have the chemical trains or whatever delivering stuff directly here. Crops, you can see that there's a lot of stuff that we can deliver. 
This is probably something that I'm gonna think about a little bit more. We can have a train deliver, well, more or less everything here. We can have one train, long-ish train, uh, go and pick up all these materials that we need. But obviously, if we're gonna bring oil over here, he's gonna have oil. Wood is gonna be something that we need to deliver. Uh, crops, again, is something that we're gonna need to deliver here. So, be delivered here. And uh, this is finally done. We can put this one in production. Uh, well, people and all. Okay, uh, I, I yabbered too much. I didn't uh, address the nuclear city that much. Uh, they have oil. You can see here how much oil is gravitating towards here. It's ever so slightly shrinking because they're processing all the oil. So there's a lot of backlog to be filled. Uh, but the problem could be overf uh, overfilling the tanks with fuel and then we, we need to consume fuel uh, but we are we are consuming fuel now is anybody using this highway system here indeed it is well somebody is using it this is meat deliveries uh, and this is a distribution office not even uh, straight but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll let them uh, play around with this and see how many trucks are going to be using this uh, vehicles, vehicles. Okay, let's go to Nuclear City and let's see what we have uh, there. We have the the big, big road construction happening there, so we need to finish those. Um, we need to finish those first. So I think we're gonna still be stuck here. They need asphalt to be finished uh and what about the rest of them there's like there's a couple of issues a little bit of gravel a little bit of asphalt a little bit of everything everywhere there's a little bit of an issue with um uh, with uh, you can create issues with your roads for example if you build too many roads like i did now and they're automatically assigned to your construction offices you can end up having pavers waiting for asphalt and tr uh, on one road and then uh, your asphalt waiting for paver on another road and you can be stuck in a loop uh, it can be resolved by delivering you know involving more construction offices and maybe smarter planning would be an even better choice but uh, at the moment it doesn't seem like we're gonna have these issues you can see that uh, this road is being finished already uh, this one is not gonna have any uh, any lights on it uh, but this one also this one is finished almost finished it requires the last stage of construction you can see that vehicles are on the way okay uh, we can start constructing bus station and hospital that's fine church as well uh, do we have a spare capacity it looks like we do so let's go for let's go for this one this one is constructing this oh but it's done is it yeah it requires people to be finished this is the Janacek theater yeah let's just assign it to this what Oh, right, 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 this requires the other side to be uh, connected. Okay, that's fine. And then this one here can have the nuclear... Oh, this one has nuclear too already assigned. Yeah, I think we're going to require people to finish these buildings, but we are not in a rush with this because um, I would like to, uh, well, finish the infrastructure first before we start uh, with anything else. You can see that the, everything is being... Like, I, I created even more construction well, places. Uh, all over the place here and uh, that's slowing things down a little bit but anyway uh, let's see if they have uh, looks like most of the stuff here missing is gravel and asphalt we can go to capital city area and check if if we have everything that we need fuel is being consumed uh, but we are delivering more that's fine I'm actually fine with this looks like this area is consuming a lot of fuel uh, potentially what i need to do here is extend uh, well uh, yeah extend capacity of this train here uh, he needs to deliver more fuel uh, he was going to the border crossing now he's going to um clo uh, closer here to the refinery but still uh, capacity of 78 tons of fuel uh, could be quite small compared to what they're consuming no, no, maybe it's maybe it's equal how much fuel is being consumed here so um i think I, i'm gonna leave it for now i'm gonna leave it for now but hopefully i'm gonna remember or bear this in mind that we have uh um, that we have this issue that potentially we can have issue with fuel uh right okay anything else 
I don't think so. This university, I know a couple of things, I, I should have mentioned it before. I know that uh, some of you guys might say that uh, we should have built political university here, that this is technical one. Uh, we can disregard this and just say that this is political university or, you know, party headquarters or whatever, um, uh, just for the sake of conversation, because I think this building fits here quite nicely. I don't even want to explore if the other buildings fit better, because if I find out that they do, that's not gonna be nice. Uh, right, uh, let's unpause this, and uh, we did address Nuclear City, uh, Murmansk. Murmansk is bu building some of some of the other infrastructure. Oh, I cannot upgrade this. Oh, they have access on the other side, that's perfect. So let's remove uh, this. And remove the footpaths. I don't want to uh, destroy anything. I just want to remove these. So I'm going to build, uh, let's see, this gravel road. For better access for firefighters. And then we can assign, a f uh, create footpaths here. Uh, on the other side of the building. This way. And uh, I think this is a little bit nicer. Uh, yeah, this is it. This is it. So we have our... Well, let's call it dorms over here, dormitoriums for students, even though it's residential buildings, we should have, we could have dorms, but yeah, we don't. Uh, we're gonna leave it like this, uh, because they're not gonna be used anyway, dorms over here. So what I'm gonna do now is connect them to normal roads, there we go, Connect. Uh, construct this. And what's with this? This one is connected. Uh, this one here, uh, can you be connected? No, this is way too close. Uh, but it doesn't have to be connected. And the, on the other side here, you can see that this road is, well, actually almost done. Uh, and then we're gonna have public transport system here with trams delivering students, pers pers personnel, political advisors to our new university. Uh, all the concrete is almost used. It has 113 people, locals, working on this one. Uh, do we have any statistics about Babushkina? Yes, we do. 5,800 people. And I'm pretty sure that some of the buildings are still not fully uh, filled. Culture. They're missing a lot of stuff. Uh, they're missing a lot of stuff. We have... Oh, right. We can increase the uh, capacity of these. Let, let's just do that. I think I need to redo this. I think I'm going to need to increase the capacity of, of uh, Babushkino uh, shops and whatnot. Because I think it, it was limited. I limited it before. And you can see here already problems. You know what? Let's go all in here. Because shops are going to be important. Anyway, look. Uh, we're running out of time. So I'm going to say... Ooh, this looks nice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you can always buy me a coffee. You have a link in the description of the video. Guys, thanks for watching. I want to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.